All right, you guys, come and enjoy Promo SDK, Shilla's Creations Way. Mm, mm, mm. Homemade carrot cake loaves and cream cheese frosting. Oh, yeah. What's up? What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Shella. P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K. Shella's Creations Way. And I'm going to be making carrot cake loaves again because my niece, Jalea, loves carrot cake. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to Walmart today to get me some carrots. And the only carrots they had, believe it or not, uh, they did not have the whole the, the whole big long carrots, but they did, however, have these, and they're French cut cooking carrots. They're a little thicker than what I'm used to, so I am gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna chop them up some more because these are just a little too thick for me. All right. I'm sorry, I don't like any carrot. I like Auntie Zilla's carrots. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Me too. Oh yeah, I think the cake is so good. Mm -hmm. Alright you guys, so let's get this party started. We got our cutting board down here. And I'm going to take this cake carrots out of this bag. Yeah, these are some big. Oh, yeah. If y'all see these carrots, these are not finely. It doesn't look brown that big carrots like at all. Camera, but it's it kind of looks like cheddar cheese. It does. Like big piece of cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. Want to try? Mm -hmm. You like carrots? Mm -hmm. I love carrots. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a rabbit. <laughs> so I have, so I have my nieces and my nephew here. This is good. Gonna, this is my first time using this right here, so I'm going to try. No, guys, I'm going to give y'all a bite. It's a scraper and a chopper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and chop it up finer without losing my fingers and without losing too many carrots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm just sure this is a feel better carrot. That's satisfying. It is very satisfying. So I'm just surprised that Walmart did not have any carrots. Exactly, and especially in the vegetable aisle. And some yep. falling out of the shade. But she, she said that they did have carrots, but it was a really mini, mini carrot. Yeah, it was, it was the bite size. Yeah, it was the ones you put in salads. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to try and get those, try and break those up and break my fingers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Right. And y'all guys, Auntie Shula makes that. Oh, Kelvin, Kelvin. Oh, can you so turn the oven up for me for $3.50? Yes. And guys, subscribe to Auntie Shula's channel. Yes, please. Thank you. And y'all guys, I'm trying to do it. Auntie Shula makes the carrot cake. It's so I'm good that it makes me want to, it makes y'all want to subscribe to her channel. And her buttermilk, not buttermilk ice cream, but her ice, homemade ice cream. It's on fire! It's, it's on fire! fire. <laughs> this thing right here is better than a knife. Yeah, yeah because you won't have the waste of time copying your finger. Comment down below if you have one of these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like, and subscribe, and share with this video. All with your friends. Well, thank you very much, Harmony. All right. Ooh. And as the carrots cook anyway, they're going to get soft. Yeah, soft. So I just wanted to get it cut down as much as I can because these things were really, 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 really solid. They slide it like a piece of cheese. And I'm teaching to start with her carrots first. That's what I would do too. Yeah? Yeah, yeah I like doing my carrots first. Make sure I get all of my carrots. I know It's just more easier to do if your carrots are already in it. Oh, no. Oh, 
unless he met the 11 year old schooling, schooling her auntie. <laughs> now. That's a sunshine night. And you want to get at least four cups. I and just so I can show you what I'm working with here. Oh, you're talking about carrots. I, I, I just thought that you can see, talking this about right here carrots. is um, not quite three cups. So, and they're a little fuller and thicker. So, if they were a little finer, it would be about maybe two, two and a half cups. So, we're going to have about maybe five cups of carrots. But that's fine because we're doing what? Carrot cake. Yeah. Right, that's good. So we can't have enough carrots. No. The more the merrier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The more the merrier. Yeah, that's right. And plus it goes with the cake, so you won't even taste the carrots. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, I would taste the carrot and the carrot cake. Well, you better taste some carrots. But it's gonna, it's really the white, good. the whipped cream take over. The reason why I didn't call it Kelvin K because it's made out of Kelvin. That's right. All right. So we're going to get this crushed up right here. Did you wash your hands, Julia? Yes, ma'am. All right. You want to come over here and crush this up a little bit? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let her come over here. Don't try and do it so fast. Just take your time so it won't pop everywhere. And you gotta make sure that they're seeing it in the camera. Oh, are they? No, they see it. No, I don't know if I have to look at it, though. I could just look at the camera. Mm-hmm. Mama, look, can smell orange juice. I knew that Auntie Sheila was gonna make her carrot cake today, and so I came prepared and I washed my hands. Mm -hmm. You guys, carrot salt crunch. Oh yeah, y'all got that good dude. You know guys. Oh y'all got I just noticed. Over here. Don't block the camera. Over here. You guys. Okay, so the carrot salt is the fattest shiny noise. Because I have to put extra pressure because my wrist is so tiny. <laughs> no, it's just tiny. <laughs> You're doing a good job, Julia. She is. But out the cam, in the camera, it looks bright. I mean, mm -hmm. in the camera, it, look, it don't look bright, but out the camera, it looks so on. No, it looks bright when it's out the camera, but when you look in it, it's not bright. All right, let's let's get this stuff in the bowl now. That's funny. You got this really now hard to chop up. up. Carrots, string. Uh -huh. And that was funny how Julie was yeah. taking a bubble. But it's really easy to chop regular carrots from the, from the ground. All right, let's get these in the bowl. Ah, no carrots out. left behind. Yes. No, no, it's not on the table. Yeah, it's not on the counter. I don't know why the carrots keep on falling on it. All right, let's get these carrots. Let's get this carrots popping. Like pop it in the microwave. Side the No, not in the microwave, baby. All right, you guys, so we got all the carrots in the bowl. Now we're going to do everything in the bowl, okay? So we're going to go ahead and add our sugar. And we're going to do about two cups of sugar. I got you. Pour it in here. Two cups of sugar. Oh, you got Auntie Chillette taught me every four cups of flour. No wonder why you can't taste the carrots. Is it every four cups of flour? Two cups of sugar? No. It and is uh, for every three cups of three cups. flour, you do two cups of sugar. Or one and a half cups, depending on what you got going on. 
Yes, I, I, I almost. But for this it. recipe right here, <laughs> we're gonna take the carrots and the sugar, mm. and we're gonna mix them up. Actually, those look good in. as a snack. You thought I was gonna put the milk in? Mm -hmm. No, the milk is not one that I put in yet. That looks like a good snack, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to go and put carrot. Um, right, so we got that. Now we're gonna take and put a little bit of nutmeg. I mean, like nutmeg and nutmeg actually and ground ginger is pretty strong seasonings for the dessert. So they're only gonna be like. Less than a, um, a quarter teaspoon. Less than a, a quarter teaspoon. So we're just gonna do a couple sprinkles here. What's nutmeg? It's just a seasoning. Oh. You wanna try it? Try it. Oh. Yeah. Teaspoon. <coughs> less than a teaspoon, guys. Yeah, you guys, that's strong. And then uh, about two tablespoons of little. cinnamon. It tastes like nothing. It's not strong. Yeah, it doesn't have a very good taste. That's why you have to be real gentle. Oh, what is that? It was just smoke coming. That was from the cinnamon. Oh. This is nasty. This is nasty. You didn't like it, did you? No. Mm -hmm. I didn't think so. So it required taste. That's why you have to be really gentle with it. All right, so we got the sugar in here. We got the flavorings in here. Now we're going to add our vanilla extract. We'll put about two teaspoons, two to three teaspoons, because one, two, three. We've got more carrots. Auntie, so for every dessert that you do, do you have to add in vanilla extract? It all depends on what this dessert you're doing because it may be lemon extract, it could be almond extract, it could be whatever, you, whatever you're doing, you know, chocolate extract. flavor. So we're gonna go ahead. Now we're gonna go ahead and put my butter in here, and it's already melted. It's really, really soft. I had it sitting out. So we're just gonna take and just fold it in here with the carrots. If you go with some of my recipes, sometimes you'll see I do deviations. But it all comes back to one thing. And what that sugar does, when you put that sugar in here with these carrots, you can see the sugar breaking down with the carrots. So it's making the carrots have that sweet texture that you want it to have when it blends in with the cake. I can smell the sweetness already. You can, huh? It smells like it. And you want to make sure you're mixing up everything before before it's you put like your cinnamon. eggs in. Can you get me the eggs out of your fridge? Yes, ma'am. How many? Just bring the whole thing okay. there. I still thought it was milk. Well, we are going to put milk in here, babe. Handy Danny spoon out. Now what we're gonna do is this right here. It's time to add your self rising flour. And we're gonna do six cups of flour. So we're gonna do three cups per increment. So we're gonna do the first three cups. flour with the carrots then we'll do our last cup of three cups of flour so you're gonna be putting a total of six cups of flour in here um, don't take out any eggs yet just let's just let it sit there I believe what we will add in here is at least um, five to six eggs because they are the large eggs. So we will put in here at least five, no more than six eggs. That nutmeg needs a taste in your mouth like a minty taste. 
Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, did you, did you try that ginger? No. I don't really know. I didn't try this one. one. We did, that was the one we tried. We did. So that is the first set of the three. Okay, this is the last of the three cups of flour. Self rising. We're going to mix this around too. And we are gonna put a quarter cup of cooking oil in here as well. Y'all saw we already put the stick of butter. So we are gonna still add the quarter cup of cooking oil. And then we will incorporate the milk. And everything is going to be hand made, hand done. No mixer. All right. Put that quarter cup of oil in here. Can you get me the milk? Mm -hmm. It smells so good. It smells good. Yes. And I can feel the satisfying. I finally kill it. Yes, baby. I had to hire a new helper. My other helper went MIA on me. No, I didn't. That ginger was hot. So now we got to put a cup of milk. We're going to put a cup of milk. And then we're gonna add a cup of water. We'll sit this over to the side. We're gonna get the, make sure the whole batter is, is saturated with the milk. Jillian's getting me my cup of water. All right, so we can go ahead and add a half of that cup of water. And we're just gonna mix everything until everything is absorbed in that flour. And again, these carrots are a lot thicker than the finely ground carrots. So yeah, we're just going to be mixing this up until everything gets incorporated. I'm going to get ready to add my nuts in here. We're going to put about, uh, I have a two cups of nuts, so we're going to put one cup of nut in here. At least one cup of nut in here, and then we'll use the other nuts in our frosting. Very good, y'all. Very, very, very good. All right, so we'll just add a, we'll go ahead and add a little bit more of this water. There we go. Just to thin it out a little bit, and we're just gonna fold that water into this mix. Go ahead and put those tops. I was looking for my um, 
my nut crusher, but I can't find it for some reason. It's in my A. But these are the nuts I'm gonna use. They're already cut up, um, chopped, but I'm gonna chop them some more. Just a little more. put like three eggs, five eggs in here at least five between five to six eggs again like I said this is large One more. Throw it in the trash. Mixy mix, but this time I'm using my little handy little hand mixer. So we get ready to do the eggs. Okay, we gotta get them mixed up this top, and then we'll start reaching down to the bottom and get them incorporated. And the oven is already preheated to 350. And we're just gonna fold these eggs in here in this batter. Because we don't want to overwork the dough, flour, in the mix. Again, we're going to be putting these in loaf pans. Okay. All right, so we got everything mixed up. Now I'm just going to take my spoon again and just do this. And y'all see this? All right, this is the consistency you want right there and you want your loaf pans to be greased I'll use the vegetable oil to grease my loaf pans I do have a total of three loaf pans and I'm getting my 
have an oil. Oh, I have an oil behind the counter. All right. Let's move this stuff out of the way. There we go. You can put those eggs back. All right, so we got our little pans. Now we're going to put our little oil. And when you put your oil in here, you want to make sure you got the pan well coated. On the sides, I always take one of my pans and pour all my oil into one pan, and then I just take the leftover and make sure I get them in all the other pans. Let's see, let's see that. That's all we're gonna do is gonna put the oil in the pans, and then once we get the oils in the pan, we will um, make sure I get this, everything on the sides too. There we go. All right. So now we're gonna pour these in these pans. Excuse me, babe. And this is a this bowl is heavy. Make sure y'all can see this bowl right here as I lift it up. Right here. All right. Uh, all right. Slide it down, baby. Try this. Uh -huh. Slide it down. Slide that milk in your fridge right So that was the first bowl. Now we're on a second bowl. And now we're on the last bowl. So again, as we did the last time, we made three loaf. It looks like this is going to make a three loaves as well. So I want to make sure that we have enough in all the pans. Let's get all this goodness out of here. I'm gonna drop this bowl, this bowl is heavy. All right. So yeah, again, once you put this in the oven, you'll let it bake in the oven for at least an hour. At least an hour. You'll check it to make sure the doneness. You'll know when it's done. It will be nice, risen, and brown. Like we want it. Make sure we get all these carrots out of here too. Alright, so we'll see you guys in an hour. But to you, it'll only be a second. All right. All right, you guys. So I'm getting ready to start with the frosting, the butter nut frosting. And we're going to use the entire bag, of course, of the powdered sugar. And it is going to be the frosting for our carrot cake. Our carrot cake loaves that we have in the oven right now. So we're just gonna pour all of this. This is a two pound bag of powdered sugar. Okay. And we're gonna take a pack of butter that's been out, sitting out so it is very soft. So we're gonna drop this in here. And we're gonna also drop in the cream cheese that's been softened and sitting out as well. And this is a uh, eight ounce, eight ounce cream cheese. You can use Philadelphia cream cheese. This is a great value pack from Walmart. Works just as well. And again, as I say, it's already softened. I'm just gonna open this up. And if one of my little helpers over there will get me the milk. 
Yes, ma'am. We are going to use just a little bit of milk in here as well. Y'all can see how creamy this is. Go ahead and start creaming the butter and the and the cream cheese in with the powder sugar. mixing process I'm going to put my teaspoon of vanilla flavor vanilla extract in there and I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of my nuts in there just a little because we're going to top it off on top of the frosting just a little bit in there like a little handful and that's going to help break down the bread. That gives it a little bit of shine to it and it helps keep it soft. About a tablespoon of that. You'll be able to get this, this spatula right here once I get done. Make sure show all the sides are scraped. The frosting's good. The frosting's good. It tastes like the same frosting. Mm -hmm, that I used before because mm -hmm. it's the same ingredient. Let me show y'all this. Go with the frosting right here. Oh yeah. This consistency you want. It is good because I can taste nice the cheese. This is the consistency you want. This is good because I can taste. Um, okay. So this is our frosting, and you guys will see us put the frosting on the um, carrot 
cake loaves once it comes out of the oven. But there you have it. Mm, delicious. See you guys in a few. All right, you guys, we got the bread out of the oven and we'll be icing them once they cool off. So it's nighttime now. We're getting ready to go to bed. We'll let them cool. And then in the morning, we will ice them up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ice them up with this good old icing. Mm -mm -mm. And then top them off with those good old chopped up walnuts. Oh, yeah. Mm. Let's see how this is going to turn out. Y'all want some? Come get some. All right, you guys, we're back and the bread is cooled off. It's still a little warm. I don't like it completely cold, cold. I like it a little warm. So before I told y'all we're gonna go to bed, but we're still up. So we're gonna go ahead and ice this baby. Ice this baby like vanilla ice. Make sure y'all can see all this good old frosting goodness. It's a little warm. Get down in there. And it gets down in that cake real good. Well, the carrot cake loaves. So we're going to do three nice heaping spoonfuls on each one. Alright, I had put some little chunks of frost, some nuts in this frosting, so that's why you see some little nuts in there already. And then the final, let's get this done. some walnuts on the side that I'm going to pour on top as well. I still got some more frosting in here. We'll just finish this one up with the rest of this frosting. And if you guys decide to do my recipe, y'all, hit me up in the comment section and let me know. Let me know how you like carrot cake and if you're going to do my recipe. I will definitely shout you out. Put you on my community tag. All right. Mm. Mm. That's so good, y'all. I got my little nephew and my niece in here. I just grabbed a bowl. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these crushed nuts on here. Walnuts, it is. And there you have it. P R O M O S C K, Chilla Creations Way. And you will definitely see us mukbanging this on Promo S C K, eating good in the neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Should we get the side of there? There we go. All right. 
There you have it. Mmm, look at that goodness. So I'm just interested to see how this carrot is going to turn out with the with the carrots that I used versus me finally shredding the carrots. There we go. All right. So we'll see you guys in the next video. And be sure to share me out. Let everybody know what Promo SDK is doing in the neighborhood and what she's doing at Show Creations Way. Oh, yeah.